Hi there, everybody. It's UK Independent Stamping Up Demonstrator Halsey here from Slim and Stylish. Stamping Up. Net. Thank you for joining me today as we make this cute owl Christmas card. So the owl is from the adorable owls cling stamp set that's coming up in the new celebration catalogue. This starts on the fifth of January, and this set is free when you spend forty pounds for me or more. The other two sets that we're going to be using for this card are from the Christmas catalogue and are only available up until the end of December. So if you want them, get in quick. I'm using the largest but one circle die here just to create a quick template. I'm using a pencil that I've not pressed very hard so it won't be too obvious. And then I'm going to be using these leaves and the berries to create a wreath. So the leaves go two ways, there's two different ones, and they curve in different directions. So you should be able to get both sides of your sort of holly with this. I'm using Poppy Parade for the berries, and I'm using Shaded Spruce for the leaves. And I'm just going to go all the way around the outline of this circle. The reason I'm using the largest but one circle is so once this is done, I'll be able to use the larger die cut circle and cut this out completely and it will look like a really cute wreath effect. What was also great and totally by chance was this fit perfectly. I was thinking that there would be a little gap at the end and I'd have to put a bow in or sort of cover it. But look at it, it meets just perfectly and looks great. Alongside that, I'm gonna be stamping some images in Memento ink because I'm gonna be blending. So first of all, I'm going to take the owl and I'm going to stamp him and then I'm going to stamp the hat and the star from the Jingle Jingle set and I'm going to colour them all in and then I'm going to be fussy cutting them out. So I'm going to stamp myself four stars, six stars. That was a complete guess on my, uh, on my voiceover. I was like, how many did I do? Six stars one hat and then I'm going to stamp the owl. The hat, once I've cut it out, I'm actually going to stick it on top of the owl. It fits perfectly and looks great and it's one of the benefits of having hats. You can always use them on anything. So to colour these in, I'm going to do the hat in Poppy Parade Dark and Light, the stars in Daffodil Delight Dark and Light and then the owl, I'm going to play with a few different colours I'm going to mainly use crumb cake dark and light, but I'm also going to use an array of the skin tone blends. So I'm going to start off with the SU-1000 and I'm going to be playing in with the SU-700 and the SU-500. And I'm going to be using pumpkin pie for the beak and for the um, paws. And for his eyes, I'm going to use mint macaron. And then I'm going to use some smoky slate and I'm going to use the white um, blender pen to actually just spread that out so that it looks really sort of 3D and it looks like it's got a glossy eye effect. So let me tell you a bit about celebration while I'm colouring in. Celebration will be in January and February and it rewards you for spending in the catalogue. You can spend in either the new mini catalogue or the annual catalogue and if you spend £40 you get a free stamp set. If you spend £90, you get one of the bigger stamp sets free, or you can get two of the £40 stamp sets free. By the way, I know I've been saying £40. I mean £45. This is my cold brain. I've had a bit of a cold for like ages now. It doesn't seem to be moving. And that's why I'm not actually speaking over my video. I'm doing a voiceover instead because through this I must have coughed about a million times. Every time my hands move off the table, I'm either coughing or sneezing. And I just knew I wouldn't get through a whole video talking to you. So uh, I'm actually speaking over this while I sat on the sofa and clearly I'm still not with it. So it's for every £45 that you spend through me in my store, slimandstylish.stampinup.net, you get the choice of having a free stamp set. And for every £90, you either get one of the bigger stamp sets or you get two of the smaller stamp sets. And there are DSP and things as well. You can find them all on my store and it's very clear to see what you can earn. Or you can just drop me a message and I'll let you know. In addition, you get a little thank you gift from me as well for your spend. Really appreciated. So yes, now I've finished colouring him in, I'm going to cut him out. So I'm going to use the larger die, the larger circle die, and cut around the wreath so that we get that in a circle. 
And then I'm going to fussy cut my owl and I'm actually going to fussy cut the stars and the hat. There was dies with this set, but I didn't get it. So I'm going to have to fussy cut them both out. I'm just going to take that off camera to do it. Um, mainly for the reasons I told you. I've got a cold. <laughs> I do like him. Doesn't he look cute? I need to think of a name for him. What's a cool owl name? Let me know in the comments what you think. So here you go. Here's a circle. Here's my owl. There's a hat that fits him. And there are my little stars. So I'm just going to push all of those to the side and concentrate on the background. So I'm going to be using shaded spruce for this card. So I'm cutting it at 14.85% and keeping it the full width. And then I'm just scoring it 10.5 centimeters. So it create me an A6 cardstock. And then I'm just going to cut myself a mat on top. So this is 14.35 by 10 centimetres and it will sit just on top of the card with just a small bit of the background on show. To really make it stand out, I'm going to be running it through the embossing machine with this cascading ruffles embossing folder. Love this one. It looks great. Look at that. And it just stands off really lovely from the background. So I'm going to stick that down. And then I'm going to be wanting to have some more texture on this. So I'm going to be using my splatter technique. I've used this a lot recently and I love it, especially on Christmas cards. So you want the Whisper White Wee Fill. Put a little bit on a block and then grab your aqua marker, just a little bit of water, not much. Mix it in like that and just splat, splat, splat. It is so fun to do. And you can't honestly put enough on because when it dries, it won't be as bright as it is now. So while at the moment it looks like, wow, there's a lot on there. When it dries, you won't see it as much. So put extra on. It's fine. You can't put too much on. I'm using my heat tool because I'm on a video so that it will dry for you while I'm still recording. However, you can just leave it to the side, grab a tea, come back and it will be done. So I'm going to be using the gold twine from the catalogue. And I'm just going to create a few loops around this. You can see I'm kind of going in the direction that the twine wants to go. I don't really see much point in forcing it into a different direction. And then I'm going to stick everything down. Now, the best thing I find for sticking things down here is instead of putting the dimensionals onto my circular piece and sticking it to the card, I'm actually going to put the dimensionals over my loops. You can see it's going to hold them in place and they're close enough together they will be hidden by my front panel piece. So I've chosen to do it that way and to me it's just going to keep my loops looking great. I'm then going to add my owl into the centre and then I'm going to pop a dimensional on as well to adhere the Christmas hat onto the top of him and I'm just using half of a dimensional there. See what I mean? It fits perfectly. Doesn't he look nice and Christmassy? For the final part of this card, I need to pop a sentiment on. Now, I was in two minds over this as to whether to stamp it onto white card, but then I thought it might detract from my wreath. So instead, I grabbed the sentiment Christmas and Merry from the Homemade Wishes set, and I'm going to heat emboss them in gold onto the shaded spruce cardstock. So what I've actually done is put them together on the block so that I'm going to be stamping all in one go. And that way I'm going to know what spaces I've got and it's just going to be a lot simpler. I'm going to use my embossing buddy and my Versamark to get the card ready. Bring in the gold embossing powder, making sure that it doesn't go everywhere on my desk. I am so messy when it comes to embossing, really am. I try not to be, I always use paper underneath, I have my little paintbrush ready, but I can't help it, I'm clumsy. So drop this onto your card. There you are, and then use your heat tool just to set it. This is the good thing about me doing voiceovers. You're not having to worry about me being loud and noisy because normally when I heat emboss and I've got you on my normal speaker, I'm like, oh, turn your speakers down now because I'm going to blast you out. Now it sounds like, you know, they're not even on. Once I did that, I decided to punch this out to create a cool effect, but I haven't punched it the full way. Let me show you what I mean. I've used my decorative circle punch and I'm just going to pop it in like that and stamp it so I get half of my decorative circle. And then I'm going to adhere this to the bottom of the card so that it just looks like a little pop out effect. Just because you've got a punch, it doesn't mean that the whole of that shape is what you're going to use. You can just do it quite simply like that. To finish the card up, I'm going to be using some glue dots and sticking down the stars. And then I'm going to be using the metallic enamel effects 
I love these. They come in white, black and red. Can't sell them enough. Think they're absolutely brilliant. I'm going to be using the white ones along the background of the card and I'm going to be using the red ones on every other berry as well. Just so it gives it a 3D texture and it really pops out of the card. And there we are. There is my little owl card. Isn't he gorgeous? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And if this is the, is the first time watching me, please don't forget to subscribe and come back for my other videos and content. Have a lovely day all and I'll see you soon. Bye.